Internet-based social networking has become an integral part of our lives. With loads of personal information posted online, we run a constant risk to fall prey to computer-savvy hackers who are capable of installing a code and getting access to all that personal information from your website. Khalid Al Havasli, an IT professional from Dubai, explains how it works. Hacking Facebook by itself is not that simple. So what we need to do here is abuse a different vulnerability in the browser, which will allow us to control Facebook after the user has been redirected to it. So what we have done is after the victim has clicked on a follow us to Facebook link, which has already some malicious code on it, he was redirected to the real Facebook page. He was able to see his account, he's able to chat with his friends. But after an hour or two hours, we were able to trigger a logout, which made it seem like the user has been logged out of Facebook. And when the user sees that, and after establishing trust that he was on Facebook because he was chatting with his friends, he was seeing his messages, he would actually think that it was legitimately timed out. And also the address bar will show www.facebook.com. They will log in and that's when I will receive the SMS message with the uh, user's credentials on Facebook. So one thing you need to do to make sure is, first of all, um, you need to make sure there's a there's a setting on Facebook which is, uh, requires you to encrypt your connection or it's, uh, make it HTTPS. That setting has to be on. Many people keep it off. And when it's on, you will see a little blue icon next to the address bar that says Facebook.com. And that icon tells you that, yes, this is indeed Facebook. It is not a manipulated version of Facebook. So you need to make sure that this is there. And when it's there, it means it is it is most probably the real Facebook you shouldn't worry about. Never type your credentials without seeing this uh, little uh, icon on the top. It's really about educating yourself because um, if you don't educate yourself, someone else is educating themselves on how to hack you. So the next time you're browsing on social media, be careful where you click because that next request may not be so friendly. Sunita Menon for Express.